Hi. Today, again, I will do a comparison between the Micro Four Third and Full Frame. I used for that the Lumix with the 1240 Pro lens from Olympus and the Sony A7 III with the 2470 from Zeiss. Here you can see the two cameras. Okay. you will see here the lens and you can see the first advantage for me of the Lumix is the flipping screen here you have the size and you can see here the way uh, you can move the screen of the Sony same things okay now it's become interesting. You have uh, heard and uh, video where it's written that uh, the aperture is not the same aperture on micro for than than uh, on full frame. It's true if you speak about the bokeh but the bokeh only aperture is aperture. I did as a proof, I took the same picture with the two cameras. I put aperture, I put 7.1 and I put ISO 100. And guess what the, is the speed the two camera choose? it's 160 for the Sony and it's 160 for the Lumix. I did these things several times and I saw always the same results. Okay, now you can see uh, that you cannot, uh, you can see that the screen is brighter on the Lumix than on the Sony. You can see also that on the Lumix you can see the histogram and if you are not uh, well exposed the histogram become yellow. Then another advantage for the Lumix. Here you can see also another picture where you can see, of course, the brightness of the screen. You, all these are advantages for the Lumix. You have a post focus, you have 6K picture first. You, this one do a movie does a movie um, and you can take 30 pictures in one second on 18 million pixels you have post focus post focus is you can choose after taking the picture where you want the picture focused and you can even stack all the picture to have everything in focus you have the same self timer is the same on both camera they are you can have three picture 10 seconds after but you have the high resolution mode on the lumix you can have a picture 80 million pixel but only on a tripod of course and because uh, the camera stacks uh, eight different pictures and last advantage you have the time lag animation on the Lumix and not on the Sony okay now I will show you the reason of this 
a video. I will show you one by one first the picture. Okay. I will. The only way you can see it's ha uh, on the right on the left corner. You can see which camera uh, was used to do the picture. Okay, this one is the Sony. This one is the Lumix. This one is the Sony again. This one is the Lumix. This one is the Lumix. This one is still the Lumix. This one, oh, sorry, I did a mistake. Yes, this one is the Sony. This one is the Lumix. Lumix. Sony. Lumix. Lumix. Lumix in high resolution. La mix, normal picture, la mix high resolution. Okay, now I will compare it. Okay, like this, I will do two pictures each time. Okay, here you can see the G9 on the right and the A7 III on the left. You can see directly it's 100% one by one. Huh? You can see directly that the color are different. For me, I think on this one we don't see very well the difference. You can see this is the picture, the total. You can see the difference of the format because this one is a three third and this one is a four third. No, this one is a three two and this one is a four third. Okay. Again, you can see this one. The weather moved, the sun disappears, and you can see a big difference. But I did again this picture to be to have a better comparison okay here you have both picture and what I can see here it's I think the color is more natural on the G9 my grass is not really this color, it's more this color. The tree looks more natural here than here, but this is nice. <coughs> okay, two other. Okay, this is the Sony, this is the Lumix on the left. One hundred percent. You can realize that both pictures <coughs> are a lot bigger than the screen. Then uh, it's a 4K screen. The 4K screen, the best resolution you can have, it's uh, 12 million pixels, and both cameras more, have more than uh, 20 pixels. Then it's impossible to see all the picture in the same time on the screen. You have to go smaller. Another one. Again, 
here the color seems to be more accurate on both pictures and you can see the resolution you can see the focus you can see uh, for me I don't really see a difference of uh, quality Now, I will stop th with this type of comparison and I will show you something very interesting is a high resolution mode. Okay, here you have the picture, the size of the picture. This one is 5,000, this one is 10,000. Uh, this one is a lot more than the, or the totality of a 4K screen. This one is two times the picture of this one, two times, a lot more, two times, uh, okay. But this one is to compare, it's like a medium format. It's a double of a full frame, 45 uh, million pixel, like the Nikon D850. Okay, like this you can see, look at the roof, the detail, look at here. Of course on this one you can crop as you want. And the last one, it's a car in higher resolution mode. This is a huge advantage of the Lumix. But now I will tell you for me what is the advantage, of course, of the Sony and why I also have the Sony. The Sony has a huge advantage when you are, when you go low light because you can do correct picture in 51,000 uh, ISO and the Lumix only 6,400. In regular uh, light, even the evening, the Lumix is perfectly fine. But if you do video the night, or if you do picture the night, but really the night, uh, it's very dark, uh, the advantage is awesome with the Sony. You cannot have correct picture with the Lumix, with the micro forcer, but you will have very nice picture with the Sony A7 III. I precise that it's a Sony A7 III because I try other uh, full frame camera and they are not the quality of this Sony, even other Sony uh, on 51 million pixel. Okay, I hope I, I was clear and I explained to everything what I think I think both camera as advantages for me because of the form factor if you need to go to travel for me I prefer the G9 if you are a professional uh, photograph and you do only uh, studio picture or wedding photograph if you want to do very huge uh, uh, picture on paper after cropping you uh, you probably prefer the Sony. Thank you, have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
buy it. It's here. 